The last great Coliseum on the concrete as Bristol Motor Speedway has been telling the fans it's racing the way it ought to be. Plenty of excitement and anticipation for the sports return to Thunder Valley, celebrating a throwback weekend to boot. News Channel 11 Sports Director Kenny Hawkins has the details. Thanks, Dick. For the first time in three years, the Bristol Motor Speedway was back to concrete instead of the dirt. It also switched holidays from Easter holiday to St. Patrick's Day. So who would have the luck of the Irish when the green flag fell? Like gladiators entering the Coliseum, the best stock car drivers in the country got ready to climb into their cars for the Food City 500 at the Bristol Motor Speedway. Defending champion Ryan Blaney was on the pole and led four laps before being passed by Josh Berry, who was making his first start on the concrete at Bristol. Lap 32, Tyler Reddick didn't come in for fresh four tires after caution one and he quickly found trouble when he spun down the front stretch and gathered up six other cars. 64 laps to go in the stage when Chase Elliott passed Denny Hamlin, the last man to win at Bristol for the lead. It was the 80th lap led by Team Hendrick. Two laps to go in stage one when Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin blew tires due to the track eating up the Goodyear compound. In the meantime, Ty Gibbs would go on to win stage one. When stage two got started, drivers were in the same tire wear and driving around the track at 17 seconds instead of 16 or quicker. Goodyear had allowed teams only nine sets of tires, but they made a decision to give one more set to each team. It's the same tire we raced here last fall, uh, very successfully, uh, had a good amount of wear. Uh, the right amount of wear, I would say, and uh, it's just it's just not exhibiting the same characteristics today. So it's something we need to understand. With 199 laps to go, the yellow would fly again when Barry, a Nashville native, blows a rear tire and does a 360 on the back stretch without hitting the wall. Lap 380, Hamlin during the longest green flag run of the day. So long that Kyle Larson's brakes were on fire when he came in the pit late, passes Gibbs for the lead. Then with 17 laps to go, Hamlin and Mark Truex Jr. swapped the lead, helping to set a NASCAR record on a short track for lead changes at 54 between 17 different drivers. In the end, Hamlin, for the second time in a row at Bristol, the fourth time in his career at Bristol, wins at the world's fastest half mile over. So us and the 19 clearly were the guys that kind of managed the tires the best. And uh, once it got into that type of race, you know, that's what I grew up doing my entire life before I got to NASCAR. So I certainly liked our chances. So the luck of the Irish was with Denny Hamlin, who was able to manage the track and the tire wear and hand Joe Gibbs a 1-2 finish in the Food City 500. Reporting from the Bristol Motor Speedway, Kenny Hawkins, News Channel 11 Sports.